Oh, the weaver. Who that? Is that the doctor from Is earlier? The most panel of a legend? Maybe, but there's too many consequences. The drowners are talking about her. The girl is strong, they say. There are rumors coming from other spirits. Now they agreed to protect a wedding. She must think I would try Cassid. <laughs> if she sticks needles in me, I'll be left without any power. Go to Pakcha. They won't be expecting you. I have certain doubts about this. I've seen her in the village. Not everyone can handle that power. You should be more confident. I haven't taught you for nothing. You should curse the wedding to be on an equal footing. It won't be easy. But if she really has the book, I may finally be able to control this force. Right, right. There you will find out. And if this is true, you can do anything you wish for. So goes the legend. Take a look at them first. I've sent charts throughout the area. It will be a good occasion. But this wedding, I wouldn't want to curse peasants. You know how I am with demons. Don't make me laugh. Who will you curse then? You think you can turn the procession? This thing happened last with my grandmother. Go back as soon as you take the book. So be it. Well, get ready. Aim it to you. Bow, bow, bow. Uh -huh. I negotiated with that short, and he did what I asked. Well done, Vasilisa. I myself couldn't have done it better. I remember my youth as a cold dune. Ah, those were the days. I got off easy, you could say. That's right, you furry. He's changed Sorry. back. Go catch some mice. Let the charts catch them. It's not a job that befits a susetka. Proshka, can cats be used to break the seals in the book? Help me check, would you? All right, I'll catch some mice. It's not hard or anything. I'm not torturing you like your charts, after all. Well, it's time to deal with the next seal. The seal of the wolf. I was thinking about werewolves. I haven't heard about them in Uyezd for a long time. Proshka, can you turn into a wolf? Nah. Mm, that won't do. I need to think about this. Mm, in the meantime, go and deal with your business. Go visit your bithrout. It's time. I may come up with something. All right, Grandpa. Visit me betrothed in the... Task fail plus three. Oh my god, my chores are fucking terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible chore. Mind. Uh, we got weather animals and, uh, animals. Mind. Mind. Animals. Okay. Okay, meaningless job. Get out of here. And a meaningless job. Get out of here. Oh, black book, water seal. Sky high, keep, does not vanish. On turn end. Oh. I received 15 money for killing with this page. Oh. Oh, plus seven to all. Uh, no, thanks. The map, my item. Yeah. Done none of that. That's fine. Let's head out to the yard. Trots do all our housework. You can hear the sound of an axe chopping right now. Who did I send to chop their wood? Also, did I just bring the old man with me? She, I did. Oh no, maybe not. The field. Kitty cat. Yep. Yes, it's good that I'm not one of those petty charts from hell. 
Work all day or curse people. That's like a kind of work too, right? I am perfectly content lying here watching after the household. That's my thing. What should the Demovoi do if not prepare firewood? Lots of things. You haven't had a Susietka for a long time, so your roof caved in a bit. Sag and other things grow on it. I wouldn't let it get this far. Well, I'll clean this place up when I have time. I'm still not settled in here. Maybe you could help my chores? Yeah, right. I have my paws full with matters of my own. Looking after the house, getting rid of the mice, Putting out the fire, yeah? You think that's enough work? I'd say so. How are you doing in Grandpa's bar? I'm doing fine here. I feel calmer, even. You don't have eye haunts, and it's not like they used to have them in the church. And the corner over there reminds me of the old times. They used to keep food and the gods there. We'll talk later. Has he forgotten that he's a god? Because we've done it in the wrong order. Faster, curse you! Been chewing at my scalpel for my life. I... Now let's get to work. So, Grandpa, the chorts listen to you. Well, of course. We've living together for so long. They still remember me, and they're quite scared of you. It's good that chorts help around the house, right? Well, uh, yes. Cutting firewood. That's nothing. Once I send them to plow the field, and they plow the whole area through and through, the vacant areas, and the seeded plots too, they need lots of looking after. Still, they have their uses. Maybe I should look for wolves in the forest? What? There's one howling. We need evil spirits. Ordinary wolves won't do. I have an idea. Don't fret. We'll break this seal in time. Do you want to share your idea? How did you get that isba, Grandpa? The isba? I inherited it. The older ones eventually all moved away. Uh, some went away. Some stayed in Gilgard. The house was left to me by my parents. It's old, like me. We don't have much time left. Soon we'll both go to the afterlife. I'm leaving this isba to you. There's no one else. Isn't it dying, didn't you just say? Alright, Grandpa. I need to go. My old house is falling apart. But I'm leaving it to you. When it comes to hell with me. Oh, there's an ebb. Oh, no, geez. There's an ebb. Just sprinted off into the forest. What is this? It's never done that before. So weird. I have to follow this road to the island of trees. There's a song here. What? Got out. There's a demon singing to me. Wasn't he on the outside of the church before?
There's a storm a brewing. from the grave split mother earth reveal yourself coffin lid and fly open white shrouds and draw open sweet lips tell me my darling of your life there and ask me of your life here i've been living here wandering from place to place i've witnessed all kinds of grief all kinds have i suffered i saved a girl from abanya see there's some good done with this knowledge i saved another girl from the wretched claws of avadinoi I have to live with chords, but they don't curse often. Maybe it's better this way, being in nowhere. Someone else would curse people much more. Soon you'll be back, my darling. As soon as I break all the seals, and you, teach me. Guide me, miserable orphan that I am, how to break all the seals of the book. And I will reach out my white hands and pull you from the other shore. <sighs> Shorts are back. We're back from our meaningless jobs. Oh. That's failed. Um, new item. Well, uh, eh, eh. Okay, so what do we got? We got a fire, brother fire. We got strife. We got two animals and a hunger. Two animals and a hunger. Hunger demon, be gone. Pointless job, meaningless job. Visitors. Oh, you see, how's your wife? God bless, Yegor Yevlambovich, Vasilisa. Um, why are you making her wear that? Why isn't that groom with his bride? So, you're keeping your word, Nikolai? I told you I needed a bride, and with help from you and God, here we are. The wedding is close. I see you've covered yourselves, as is tradition. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, we needed to have this wedding as soon as possible, so that the Bonics wouldn't drag me back. I understand you have a lot to think about. Vasya, weddings are the least of your worries, but if you can't do it, no one can. Um, your wedding's gonna get cursed? You are the matchmaker for me and Nikolai, so you should stand as matchmaker by my side at the wedding. I have no time to give a dowry at a bachelorette party. Right. The week has passed. The dowry appeared at my house, and what I lacked, the girls from my village helped out with. The main thing is you being my matchmaker. I can't. I have other business. It's all right, Vasya. You can go. We have some time. And when the wedding passes, a solution to a problem might reveal itself. You too, old Igor, come. You'll be our master of ceremonies. <laughs> what an honor. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Huh? Well, you taught Vasilis and helped with the items for the bride. That's right. <laughs> well, uh, you see, Vasya... <laughs> How can you say no? Who did you ask to be your best man? Petka, the accordion player. He's an old friend of mine. Mm, he's had a rough couple days. Petka? What curse can he help you with? How can we attend such a wedding, Grandpa? Stop it, Vasya. Petka will manage. He's a jester, but he can. <laughs> Besides, we'll be there. We'll help with the evil spirits and kaldoons. All right. But Fetka needs looking after. 
so he won't curse the wedding himself. Thank you, Vasilisa. I brought a gift for you. I think you'll like it, and it should prove useful. We didn't come only because of the invitation. We need a nowhere's help. My future mother-in-law hired brewers to make beer. But they quit halfway through. They say demons chased them away. They're beside themselves with fear. We decided not to approach these demons without you. Maybe it's Bunnik's trying to interfere with the wedding. You made the wise choice. Uh, beer? Is the bright side brewing beer? We decided both sides will brew. The villagers are close to each other. In Pakcha, where my mother lives, there are some skilled brewers. We hired them. Father is long gone, after all. <laughs> That's sad. What are they saying about chorts? Some shadows are being noisy. Turning over tubs and what not. See, they're brewing the beer by the river. So I thought that the Abtiricha might reveal herself. When's the wedding day? Everyone is invited the day after tomorrow. First is the wedding day, and the next day we're going for a ceremony. Not everything is by the book, but you know how it is. All right, I'll help you. After all, the ceremony is incomplete without beer, and you have your whole life ahead of you. Well, uh, come the day after tomorrow, then, if I'm the master of ceremonies. See you soon. Lord be with you. Greetings. God bless. It is you. Are you cursing this wedding? God bless. Uh, what brings you here, Your Honor? The stove flap is over there to your right. Alexander looks around, perplexed. Grandpa, he's not here about that. He doesn't know these things either. And the matchmakers come without a groom. Hello, Vasilisa. I was in the area for business and decided to drop in. I mean, I think you'll also be interested in this case I have. They talk about you and your grandfather quite often. You remember that fired short that tortured the girl in Logova? There's a similar case in the village near Pakcha. It's called Severna Settlement. That's where I'm going to track this short. So, Severna Settlement? You start treating them with your methods. Perhaps I'll drop by. Thank you. Till we meet again. Hold on. Uh, fancy some tea? Help me move the table first, would you? Table? N no time. My patients are waiting. Alexander hurriedly leaves your izba. Why wouldn't he have tea? We're ruining by the river. You need to complete all the tasks on the way here. Is that not? Oh, I'm all the way up here. That's why I thought I was here. This dusty road winds along the Kolva. Not the Kolva. Kolva Kapana. It's getting dark. You keep the black book ready. Khaldun's often put their chorts by the roads, as you have already witnessed several times. Soon, you notice someone's burning eyes under the roots of an old fir tree. Did I bring the cat? No, I brought no one. Whoopsies. Um. Curse. Uh, Avoli, I guess. Call Dean Fiend that guy, because we're doing. Uh, 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 wait, uh, 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 yeah. Are they dead? Pillar, 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 that gets curse. Take two pages. Is used instantly bypassing Zagaravor. What does it mean by take two pages? Choose a page and an effect. Firm one. Immediate. Oh. Okay. Uh, for a, this road is close to the forest. I should keep an eye out. There's a song here, apparently. Among the treetops, you notice a silent giant. His figure towers over the trees and sheds a dark shadow on the frozen road. Hello? You greet the short, but hear only loud laughter in reply. A sudden wind bends the tall pines. Okay, bye. I didn't get to hear your song. Oh no, this is the whole area. Right. Also, I do have the cat with me. Where was he? 
somewhere around here is the house Alexander went to. He should be easy to find. You find the Izba Alexander told you about without any difficulties, and question the locals. As it turns out, the husband of the sick woman died recently. Your acquaintance is already here. Did you kill the husband? Hmm, he was a fisher, or a trapper. Fisher. Chest? You open the chest and are hit with a foul stench. Inside lie everyday items of the woman and several linen sacks. It you wince Oops. in disgust. The sacks contain horse manure, wriggling with worms. These are the gifts of a demon. To cursed people, they seem like gold and prianix. Bed sheets and towels, nothing of interest. Okay, she's got... Oh. Okay. She's a... Uh... Oh. She had a baby at some point. The crib. In the corner of the Izba stands a solid Russian stove. On the whitewashed mouth, you can see black traces of soot. It's difficult to say who is to blame. A demon or a housewife's clumsiness. Interesting. And a bitch. Interesting. And the woman? Let me be. I need to rest. The fever won't let me be. They say you became a widow. Oh, Jesus Christ, may he rest in peace. Yes, he died, but I'm managing. Sometimes dead husbands come back from the afterlife. Have you heard of that? What kind of s story is that? That sort of thing never happens. Lord have mercy. Don't try to be cunning with me. I've seen all kinds of charts, and I can sense the walking dead from a mile away. Phew, witch. What could you know about me and my Vasya? You know nothing. Maybe I'll be able to convince her if I pretend to be her acquaintance. So, what did fisherman. he was a fisherman? Looks like it. They're fish. What do you mean? I know you through my godfather. He used to go fishing with Yavasili quite often. He won't be fishing any now. He's dead, I tell you. Go away. You and your groom let me rest. Mm, she still doesn't believe me. How can I convince her that everything's not so simple with her guest? Gifts, uh, shit. You think your Vasily brings you sweets? Take a closer look. Jesus, what have you done, witch? I know who is to blame for your sickness. If you want to live, you must tell me. All right, I'll tell you, but don't you tell anyone. My husband didn't die. He still visits me in the evenings. But he told me to keep quiet. People won't understand. You hear the sound of scattering sparks. A fire short, familiar to you, emerges from the stove and it immediately turns into a human. Did he have a weird microphone just then? Again with your plot switch. Don't interfere with my business. You want to kill me? Didn't work out for you last time. Ha! Kill? <laughs> I have another purpose. You stopped me here, but I'll find other creatures. Not so fast. You can't hide from me in my yest. That may be so. That's why you will be busy with my new friends. I won't be back here. A couple of chorts appear near him, while he himself turns into a fiery whirlwind and disappears into the chimney. You can catch up with that chort if you don't spend time on these demons. But what will happen to the sick woman? You open the book and read the first Zagavar. I'll protect the woman. Okay, uh, they're all taking six, so he's gonna have three health left. George's father, uh, dead, uh, hopefully dead, forever circle. I'll stay in your circle, and I'll still not have that cat for some reason. Because he's upgraded. Bam. And then we kill him. Bop, 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 bop. Um, double curse. Yes. You defeated the Chorts. 
and the woman seems to be safe now. But how many souls will this fiery snake ruin? No one knows the answer to this question. You can only continue on your way. Can only do so much. The river is small, but the demonic presence is strong. Oh, what cool's doing. You notice the pale heads of the drowned looking out of the water. They are almost certainly waiting for a careless victim to drag under. Get out of here! Open the book and read the first Zagavar. Bloody drowners. Short, uh, the, uh, let's focus down one guy. Bam. Bam. Daughter father. Urazi. Ingrija. Ketong. A rat. That's some rat. Then I get eight waste on me. Next turn. Eh. What have we got here? Parella, 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 seven damage. Uh, how much is that? And um, parella, 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 do I want to bless myself? Is one of these gonna blah 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 bl bless me? Blah 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 bl bless me? A uh, blah blah. Okay, Mele should be dead. Parhavali came fifteen. Parala palap. Oh god, this is thirteen. Sticky stick circle. They're fine. They're gonna hurt me a lot. Okay, well, let's give them an Arazi equals. No, we'll go. Nava, Arazi, Kitan, Kodin, Fiend, uh, it, that one, I guess. Ow! 16, Jesus. And then, bam! I said, bam! Okay, we'll take this one. Um, we'll take this one. We'll go items. We're gonna heal up with a 23 health. Sure. F. Boop. And the uh, Adam said, Boop. That's enough. We'll move on to the fair. I've heard of peddlers are coming to this fair. You arrive at a fair. At the crossroads of two Skip. trade what I'm selling books, yeah. Possible. Listening to a banger. Buy an amulet, you'll be as healthy as a... Um... Nope. We're out of here. On to... Oh. Barnyard. There's nothing to dry or store in the barns yet. So the youngsters are enjoying themselves. Oh. They're doing more... Demon worship. You hear the lingering sounds of songs long known to you. At one of the Izbaz, you see a late-running Vichorka. Yeah, yeah, Pali. by a house and dissolve in a deep song. That was me. Oh, 
Mm. I need to find out exactly where the brewers put the boiling pot. I don't want to wander along the Kolva all night. Where they put it on this river? Life goes on as usual in the sleepy Pakcha village. The peasants have returned from their work and fill the village with hearth fire glimmers shining from tall windows. The shop is still open. The peasants answer your questions with enthusiasm when they learn that you are the knower matchmaker they have heard of. According to the villagers of Pakcha, they seldom encounter wonders in their mundane life. Everyone laughs at the men who were brewing beer. Supposedly, they were so carried away with their work that they saw the devil himself. Oh. Imagine? Oh. Attack pages deal one damage more when you have less than 50% health. Church. You whisper a prayer and catch your breath. Oh my god, I just used two items, you, you son of a bitch. You easily find the home of the peasants who brewed beer, but their izba looks empty. You look into the galbets and see a man who is putting crosses on vials and barrels. He jumps when you call out to him. Christ almighty, what are you scaring me for? I nearly died. I knocked, didn't you hear? I'm here about the wedding. They asked to bring beer. We couldn't cook the beer to the end, you understand? The bride is a chort in disguise. Everyone knows that. So some of them sharp-tailed visited us. We barely managed to escape. With God's help, I'll bless the ingredients. We managed to brew the mash, then added hops to the cauldron. Everything with God's words. Everything proper. A pound of hops and a pound of malt. And then a demon showed up. Lord of mercy. Demon? Tell me about the demon you saw. Someone cursed us. That must be it. Looked like a lump of meat that kept glaring at us. So we ran. Left everything there. We prepared part of it, but we're too scared to go there now. Brewing? So you brewed everything by the book? Everything as it should be with prayers and according to the recipe. First, the girls came to us from the bride's side. Tried to put out the fire. Then, later, closer to the evening, a man came along. And at nightfall, it all began. The bride's cursed. So the devil showed up. What man? I don't know. Didn't have the chance to look at him proper. He stood for some time in the distance, and then left. Did you brew by the river? Right. Wait, you're going there now? This late? You'll be killed. It's all right. I have God's word with me. The devil will have to retrieve. Well, God be with you. Go to the east of the last Isba. You won't miss it. Is that man doing a curse? Beer is being brewed in a large pot by the river. Well, let's check it out. He was in the distance doing a curse. It's quiet in the brewing area. Too quiet. You anxiously look around. Evil spirits definitely had something to do with this. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You can't light the fire. All the logs have burned, and there's no dry grass for a spark to take. Okay, well, we need new logs. Here is the firewood that the brewers prepared. You take some firewood. Am I going to have to brew the beer? Okay, well, I'm going to grab this herb first. A break herb. And I need some grass. Is this the grass here? Yeah. There's some dry grass around here. It can be used. You take some dry grass. Okay. Do I light the fire? This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. Add firewood. You add some firewood. Now you can light the fire. Put you in put the grass. Some dry grass under the cauldron. Now it will be easier to light the fire. You light the fire and take a step back. Okay. Looks like there's a demon in there, having a bath. A spirit shows itself above the cauldron for a moment, but it soon disappears beneath the oily froth of the beer. 
The fire is extinguished by the spilled beer. Could a larger fire expel the chort? I don't know, can it? Tub. Okay, barrels. Okay. What about the this cauldron? This cauldron is full of partially brewed beer. You feel an evil force hiding beneath the black surface. Oh, I can jam my hand in there. Well, let's Here try this first. That the brewer, you take a greater amount of fun. Okay, need more grass. There's some dry grass around here. It can be used for kindling. Never mind. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You add even more firewood. Now the fire will burn brighter than ever. You light the fire and take a step back. Fire looks the same, but. He's like, you're cooking me in here. Okay. Beer curse. How's it going? George, George. What's he got? Keep and immunity. Immunity to waste. Thank God I don't have... Uh, I'm kind of worried about that keep. Well, let's give it another bless. Actually... Oh, uh, yeah. Keytong, firm, and then da 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 Um, we'll use the break herb next turn. Pike tooth. George Father, bless. George Father, bless. Oh, bless. Keytong. Once and forever, he gets thirty-four armor. Fleshy armor. And they're gonna attack me. Uh, fierce waste. After each use increase, waste by two, waste six. Yeah. Moon brother, moon brother. He's not cursed. Unless I curse him. Um. Oh, no, we wanted to curse, curse, curse. Oh wait, now I want to remove his armor, right? Break. Razi, Gija, Muna brother, Muna brother. Um, it's a bit annoying. I've not got my buddy, my pal, my friend. We'll just use this then, because we've not got him. The Razi, Gija. Moon Brothers. A lotion, the pleaser. Wow, six waste. You got armor? No, you're gonna put more waste on me. Interesting, interesting. I've not got a curse, which is upsetting. Do I have something that removes waste? Removes curse. Removes status waste. Interesting. Well, I'll use that next turn, I think. And I'll use this turn. A bliss. Ow. Bam. Bam. A boldy circle. Rat. Oh. I'll use the wasting next to it. Bless 4-4. Four, four. Curse. Wait, this one? Can I use a black curse? Or did I use that already? Damage absorption or... Uh, 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 uh. See, this... Paralyzed to Vasilisa, but I'm immune to Paralyze, right? So I could just drink this. Well, uh, parallel pull up, bam, sticky. Pestilence. Okay, well, let's use that. This. 
Okay. Uh, Nava. Cane. Sea of Depth. And then we'll chuck in a... This page effect applies if all the pages are a magic color. Right, so styles only if it's all one color. Now that. King. Oh, right, I shouldn't have played that white card because a cane lost its bonus and he'd be dead. Right, because it's got style. Booger, bug, a bug, booger, bug. Booger, bug, a bug, booger, bug. Actually, I can probably just kill him with black cards, right? 120 damage? I'm gonna say 10, but that's fine. 20, ow. Uh, choose a page in the book and add a gesture. Immediate swipe. Remove page from black book. Mushroom bread. The curse falls to the ground as a repulsive ball of foul smelling wool. This short was created by a Khaldun. But who would wish harm upon Nikolai? You send the brewers for the intact beer barrels and return to the Izba. Later, I called some men from Pakcha. After I chased away the chort, they took the barrels with the cooked beer. Everything that was left in the cauldron was gone. Ah, so much good beer wasted. Looks like some Kildun got involved. Looks like it. Well, they're lucky to have you as a matchmaker. You also keep your eyes peeled around, Nikolai. Who knows? I will. Many Kalduns like to ruin weddings. You know how it is. Yes, and the guests are helpless. If you ruin a wedding, you can ruin the entire lives of the newlyweds. That's all right. Just be attentive. You will protect them. Right. I shouldn't expect any help from Fetka. We'll manage even without Fetka. All right, we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> 